morning everybody it's me the comanche psycho i mean psychic i just wanted to be sure to do our our fun um for october free readings so i'm going to pick out a couple of names i don't know how this ended up in there my son helped me make strips out of all of them so I could fold them up with all the listings. Okay, so that doesn't need to be there. Okay. All right, so here we go. Okay, we got two free readings for October. Two free readings for October. First person, Virginia B. I will find her and tell her she won. Virginia B. Second person. Lori, I don't know if this is a middle name, but it starts with a B. Last name ends with a S. So we two have our two winners and I will look them up tonight when I get home and schedule them for October for their free readings. I gotta put this in a safe place. I don't wanna lose it. And I have to put this back because we'll do it again at the end of October. These are the ones that you guys have already submitted. And, um, hold on, let me put this in here. And we don't want, we're not doing it anymore, but my friend gave me an absolute, and I'll present it to you when um, I'm going on the, their website, a place that I think the money will do really well. Okay. Alrighty, get this back in here. Okay, there we go. See, I keep it like this so they don't fall out of the, the basket. Put the lotion in the basket. Okay, so, gotta put this in a safe place, sorry. Um, let me put it in my tarot card box. Okay, all right, you guys. So we got that out of the way. We know who our winners are for October. I'll contact you and schedule you for a reading. Um, I'm down, I'm doing 50 minutes now on the readings for anybody who went on my site because what happens is, you know, sometimes you linger or you don't, you know what I'm saying? And it, I have to kind of end at the spot and then the people who are coming in, even if it's one or two minutes, are already calling or leaving text messages. I think they're freaking out I forgot or something. So I've waited for psychics to call me for 20 minutes. Um, so, uh, but I like to be on time. You know, I'm a Virgo, so I, I'm one of these people who always shows up early. So um, just know that um, I have to kind of end on time, but these two people, because I started this thing before the 50 minutes, we'll get an hour reading. Okay, so we got some stuff to talk about. Now, I looked all over for the email from the gentleman that wrote me about Big Bear and some environmental issues. I looked all over, I, this is happening to me all the time. What I should do is copy the email and then grab it. So could you write me again, please? I cannot find, I know Big Bear was the last thing we discussed and I told you I'd look at it. Okay, so I wanna know, and I'm sure you guys wanna know, FBI and the Kavanaugh investigation. Now, I was listening to some new stuff this morning and they're saying pretty much the Republicans will probably vote for him anyway, no matter what they say on the FBI investigation, which is interesting. But I see holdouts, so not all Republicans are gonna do it. I think they're gonna be able, it's not even about the sexual stuff as much as, much as, as it's about him lying about who he was um, and those, those remarks in the yearbook and stuff like that that's all about sex and and that girl that they called they belonged to her club she was she had signed the paperwork that she believed in him when she found that out she asked that her name be removed so um 
And we'll look at Mark Judge too. Let's just qu take a quick look, see. Let's see if he actually tells the truth. Being that he's an AA, he might. Okay, so tell me about the FBI, the truth and the whole truth, investigation. I definitely feel he feels worried about it. I feel Kavanaugh feels worried about it. He's not the least bit comfortable. He danced around the subject. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. but I can tell that he's not happy. I can feel it. He's definitely not happy. So here we go, you guys. And by the way, today's September 29th. And it is 9.50 a.m. Okay, tell me what I can tell everybody. You know, it's weird. It's not, it's not uh, Kavanaugh I'm feeling, but did I tell you guys before, like I felt there was a death coming, could be within the next six months, but it's not a horrible death. It's like an old person crosses, politically related, and people are, you know, we're doing that, like we did for McCain and stuff. People doing the thumbs up. I don't know why I just saw that. Okay, so the FBI investigation. Can you tell me what they will come up on Kavanaugh? What is the outcome of the FBI investigation? Please tell me the truth. Outcome of the FBI investigation. Hold on, somebody's talking to me. Okay, I'll tell them. Somebody just said, it's a female. She said, you must remind everybody not to worry. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so here they are. They're coming in with their information. Trump's not happy, you guys. A little more comes up. Ooh. So it's not it's not good, you guys. Um it will actually strengthen the case against him. Justice is standing here. The offer for the job is turned upside down. So I'm almost slinking and I, I can see Trump is furious. Because it's something they can't oversee. So they, I don't know if it's much about the sexual stuff as it is, ooh, ten of swords, hello. As much as it's about, hello, remember I told you guys that when this all happens with him, that he, um, when all this happens, that he uh, would be in trouble because he lied. This is what this is saying. It's saying that actually he'll get in some legal problems. It could even be one of the girls comes back and decides she is going to file suit. Like they can't bring him in because he's under this investigation. They will prove beyond a reasonable doubt he lied under testimony. And they can't whitewash that. They're trying to. Oh, Lindsey Graham will. So, um, yeah. I can pretty much guarantee, because I, I was losing faith because they're when they were talking on the news today, well, you know, at the end of the day, they don't care what they say. But they should care that he lied under oath. And if they say no biggie, then then they're screwing themselves up. Remember I told you, and, and I'm going to repeat it again. I saw two people leaving. One, and could be because of illness, one is Justice um, uh, Thomas and Justice Roberts. I saw those two. And I see our sweet little lady leaving when the Democratic president comes in. Listen, y'all keep sending me stuff that other psychics are saying that Trump will get in again. I... I I have to go with what I feel. I don't even look at them. Um, they can say whatever they feel. We got a 50-50 chance, right? I had a dream seeing him in a coffin, dead in a coffin. 
So um, that usually means it was a glass coffin. Doesn't mean he's gonna die. Just means we will all witness his end. My dreams are pretty prophetic. Okay, so, and I love when you guys send me your information about the dreams. You, ooh, I've heard some good dreams that were pretty profound. Okay, so let's ask if Mark Judge is gonna tell the truth. Is he actually gonna come? I honestly believe he might not remember, you know, cause he was drunk a lot. So, and again, I'm not feeling this is, I don't know if it's much, as much the sexual part as it is that he's blatantly lying and they, then the FBI finds out. Cause remember, they're gonna interview him too. And he's gotta keep his same story. So, He's going to turn around and lie to them, and then, you know, he's in trouble. Tell me about Mark Judge. Is Mark Judge going to tell the truth to the FBI, and will it hurt Kavanaugh? Oh, I can see Kavanaugh. He's worried, you guys. He's even thinking about pulling out, like it's not worth it. But remember what I did in my reading yesterday? I see a lot of heartache coming up for him because of the fact that he lied. More stuff's gonna come out and I even see him not being able to go back to the district he was at because a lot of stuff is coming out. And the, um, you know, he was all the aim, the uh, attorney board, said that I was fantastic. Well, you know, they're coming back now and saying, you know what, they had issues with him in the year 2000. There was some stuff that came up. So they're saying now, you know, we would prefer an FBI investigation. And they're like, well, that was just the president, that, that Grassley, who needs to be pastured, by the way. That was just the president. I mean, uh, wait, yeah. What am I saying? Okay, sorry. You know, got you guys, I go a little ding bit. Okay, tell me about Mark Judge. Oh yeah, that was just the president of the, and nobody can tell us what to do. Not, not McCain, not McCabe, not the president of the, of the board. But if he says something good about him, they're all over it. Mark Judge, is he gonna tell the truth, yay or nay? Mark Judge, is he going to tell the truth? Here he is talking to them. He's trying to keep some things secret. Or he doesn't want to. Here's the government. You know who's going to have more influence? Or there's something he knows he could be in trouble for? That, that ex-girlfriend, she's, they're really looking at her. The female has more corroborating evidence. Remember, she's the one that said Mark gave her two confessions and told her that he had been in one of those train things. So, um, and another man's going to, so he may act like he doesn't know. I don't see him coming forward with the honest to God truth. I actually think he's going to say you know, I, I don't remember. He will give them something, though. I just saw that. It's almost as if when he says, I don't remember or I don't know, they, uh, it also, he can't say, I stand by him and it never happened. You know, you know what I'm saying? He's not giving him the, the full monte. Yeah, go ahead, do it, dude. Um, even in his other letter, he never said, well, I think Judge Kavanaugh or Brett Kavanaugh is an upstanding citizen. You know, he worked hard in school and he was a choir boy and he went to church. <laughs> That's how you know somebody's really terrific when they go to church. So, um, okay, you guys. So I hit Mark Judge. I hit Kavanaugh. Let's see how Trump's doing. You know, I, I shouldn't read on him so much, but let's see. He was awfully nice when he was talking to the press. Did you guys see that? 
She's like, yeah, yeah, well, I'm going to do the FBI. And I believe her. And it was sort of weird. So what's up? What's he... <laughs> you know how you don't trust a kid that suddenly is really nice to you because you know they want something. I almost see a picture of Trump very upset by what comes up with the FBI thing and already looking for somebody else to take his place. Like he has to drop it. You know, like he has him like this, like he could be his puppet, but doggone it, we couldn't get that through because uh, the truth came out. I don't know why I saw that. I just want you to know. I saw him like drop the strings, like sorry. Sorry, dude. Because I feel like some sort of charges are coming up on Kavanaugh. So what is Trump doing? He's thinking about firing Rosenstein. Idiot. Oh, he's worried about money. So remember, oh, that's why he's acting nice. Did you know that the Democrats have begun some sort of hearings and a judge said, go ahead, that he is accepting monies in his hotel from outside foreign people? So, and there's the judge right here. So money is being reviewed. He knows that it's, it's probably not going to be good for him. Um, he's got heart issues or something too. But he's very disappointed. A lot of things aren't working out for him. He's a fool. So everything's reversed, you guys. This is the outcome card. An ending. Now, I don't think it's physical death unless maybe he has a little heart attack or something. But the ending means he's about ready to, in my opinion, although the coffin is showing up. Ooh. We don't want him to die, you guys. You don't want a president to die because then they he becomes a martyr. And everybody, you know. Um, there is an ending here. There's definitely, remember I just told you guys I felt a death? Is that what they're talking about, this this ending? Um, he's made to look like a fool. So he's kind of getting that things are getting ready to turn on him. I think he honestly believes that there will be a blue wave. And he knows he's limited. And now with this Kavanaugh thing, he doesn't have somebody in there that will assist him in being able to, you know take care of himself or not have any charges. So funny, he acts like he cares for people and he doesn't, it's really so sad. Okay, so now let's take a look at Chuck Grassley. I'm just sort of curious about him because I just saw that, that holier than now, that attitude coming to the bite them in the butt. That's what I saw. Tell me about Chuck Grassley. Chuck Grassley, what's the outcome for Chuck? Chuck Grassley. Okay, here we go. Oh, he's all discombobulated. Ooh, you know, they may act like no biggie, but they're worried. Ooh, he's like trying to hold on and he's falling and he's unable to, justice will come in. Um, I don't think he's gonna be, ooh, here's Mueller. Here's Seven of Swords. So it feels like a battle is getting ready to ensue. Um, I think Mueller's coming in pretty soon because I'm feeling like boom, boom, boom. Let's check it out. I'm sorry if I'm repeating some stuff, but you know, it don't hurt to double check. Sometimes the energy changes, like with Kavanaugh, I can see him getting in, I can see it. I was like, you guys, they're gonna vote him in, which they have. But I, I told you that something's gonna come up and I think it's from the FBI investigation. But I actually saw handcuffs, so it's something really legal. 
he might not actually go to jail, but it, it's like the handcuffs means there's some criminal aspect to this. Okay, so please let us know. Mr. Mueller, you made me love you. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. Tell me, Mr. Mueller, just, and I'm sorry if we're repeating the same things, you guys, but um, here he is getting his ducks in a row. He's got a lot of people working around him. Um, he's the hope and the light, you guys. He will bring in fairness, justice. A lot of money issues going on here, you guys. And he's a mystery. It's sort of mystery. Oh my God, look who showed up. Hello, Mr. Mueller. Here's that woman. She always shows up. Um, okay, so he's getting, oh, that might even be Trump's daughter. And then she's, you know, squeals because she doesn't want to go to jail. But anyway, he's coming in. He's picking up all his work. And I, I'm telling you, the way is showing more. And I think I've told you guys this before. More stuff than we even realize is going to be brought up. It's going to be fantastic. Now, listen, if I got readings with y'all, I'm going to have to change it to that night because... Um, I know y'all be wanting to watch TV, sitting there watching all the indictments happen. <laughs> We're going to be so excited. So, okay. So, um, listen, the gentleman that wrote me, uh, please contact me again because uh, I lost your email. I'm so sorry. And if I forgot somebody else that I said I'd take a look, please write me again. What's happening is I'm getting so many emails I'm losing them. So what I have to do is my son set my um, printer to where I can go from my cell phone. And now what I can do is just hit print. So it'll be there and I don't lose it. Okay? Namaste. I hope you guys have a great week. I'll see you again next Friday. Ciao.